All right, you guys. Hey, I am Stacy. I'm the owner and artist of New Creations by Stacy. And hey, Donna, it's so good to see you on. Um, so you guys, I've been off for a while. I did go live on my page last week, but um, I've been off of Chop Paint 101 for a while. Had some back issues, but um, doing much better now. Um, hey, Thelma. So anyway, um, just to, if you don't know me, I'm Stacy again with New Creations by Stacy, And I'm an elite Dixie Bell retailer here in Ardmore, Alabama at the Rustic Willow. Um, that basically just means I carry everything. Uh, so just to let you know, and then we'll go ahead and get started. In the description, I do have all the products that we're going to be using tonight. And then I also have a link so you guys can find your local retailer. Of course, if you are here in Alabama, please stop in and see us. Um, and then I also have the Chalk Mineral Paint Enthusiast Group link. So if you guys are not already on there, definitely join um, tons of great artists on there, inspiration pieces, all kinds of stuff. They do giveaways for Dixie Ball Paint, so you definitely want to join there. Um, so, oh, I know, I'm so, I'm so glad to see everybody and be back live. Um, it's just, I was kind of lonely there whenever I was off. But, so you guys, also Dixie Mob may be on tonight. I'm not really sure. Um, but hopefully, uh, they'll be here to help answer any questions. If I miss anything, I will catch it at the end. Um, so you guys, tonight we're going to be working on this dresser. <laughs> um, and... So a couple days ago on my page, which by the way, I do have the link to my page in the group as are in the um in the description as well. Oh, good morning, Philippa. She's in Australia, so it's early there. Hey, Dixie Bell. So Dixie Bell is on tonight. Um, so anyway, this piece here, a couple of days ago, I posted on my page of so you guys, I usually don't use the Color Lab, and if you haven't checked that out, you can get to it through the Dixie Bomb link I have posted there as well. So I normally just start pouring my colors together and, um, you know, stop when I like what I've got. But we do have a Color Lab on the Dixie Bell Paint Company page, and it's really awesome because you can either, you know, pick up to three colors, um, you know, to see how those would look mixed together, or, you can also, um, like if you wanna match something, you can upload a picture and you can match that color. Um, so if it's not one that we already have, it'll tell you what colors to mix to get it. So it's a pretty awesome tool and even though it's been around for a while, I finally wanted to use it. Uh, so I, pasted a or I posted a couple options on my page um, and everyone voted. And it looks like the winner dun, 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 is Serenity, one part Serenity mixed with one part Endless Shore. And I use these FIFO bottles, so I didn't have the jar anymore for my Endless Shore, but you'll see a close-up of the colors. So we are going to mix these together for the one-to-one -one ratio, but don't worry, everybody voted for who, that voted for the other color mix. I already have another piece. Um, because I really like both colors. So anyway, um, so we're going to mix these two up tonight. But to talk about what I've done to this piece first, um, so this is pine, first of all. Um, these knots right here are bleeders. And um, so I did do, just on the drawers and the top, I did two coats of clear boss that's um, going to block any bleed through from the tannins in these knots. So like, or if you're painting cherry, mahogany, anything like that, those are usually heavy bleeders. So it's good to boss, unless you're using silk, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Oh, thanks, Sandra. Um, oh, hey, I haven't seen you in so long. Um, JK, Jackie, Jackie, I asked you last time, but you know, I've been off for so long, I still got the pronunciation wrong, sorry. Um, anyway, two cuts of boss. Cleaned everything also with white lightning. Um, this piece came painted in this white color, um, and I got it from Thelma. She's on tonight. Thank you, Thelma. Um, her husband had already sanded the top, but I decided I wanted to, originally I wanted to stain the drawers um, in the no paint gel stain. Um, but anyway, 
So I went ahead and stripped the drawers so I could get down to the wood. I love the wood grain of pine. Um, and then also he had done some sanding on this just to smooth it out because there was lots of brush strokes in the paint. And that'll, that'll show through, like your paint isn't gonna level everything out, even though this is a self-leveling paint. If that original finish isn't even, it's still gonna come out with a lot of brush strokes. So he had sanded that down. I did go ahead and sand the sides a little bit more just to make sure that it was nice and smooth. I want a clean finish on this, no brush strokes. Um, so, back to what I was talking about earlier, someone under the paint had filled in these holes, not with Dixie Mud, which I love, not with Dixie Mud, um, but uh, it was something that couldn't be stained. I'm not quite sure what they used, but it would not take stain. So, I ended up having to sand the stain off the top again because I realized right away um, they had also gotten some down in the grain of the wood, so the stain wouldn't uh, take on that wood grain. So, instead, plan B, I wanted that wood grain to show through, so I did a color wash of the chalk um, paint in burlap and um, driftwood. Sorry, my mind is gone tonight, you guys. So I did a color wash and I love it. I can still see the wood grain. Um, it's wonderful. We're gonna cover up these spots with the retro lattice stencil. We're gonna be using that tonight with our color mix. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and bring you in because um, I'm done talking now. Um, oh, you've been away for a month too. Well, me too. I had another back issue. Um, but thankfully, got a shot, no more surgery, and I'm doing fantastic. All right, so here we go. So the Color Lab mix it came up with is one part of Serenity, which is, mine's well used, and I used it out of the jar so you can see all the dried up paint. But you can see it's kind of this beautiful, kind of bluish, slight greenish tint there. Um, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why, I just felt the need to pick that off. So I haven't used this in a little bit. This is our silk paint. And the awesome thing about this paint is I didn't have to boss the sides or anything else because this paint is an all-in-one paint. I'm just gonna mix it up really good. It's an, It looks like I need to probably, should have strained it, but that's okay. Um, it's an all-in-one paint and that means it has what's equivalent to one coat of boss in it to block bleed through the paint, of course, and then it also has a top coat in it or a protectant in it. So we're gonna do one-to-one. -one. You guys, I never, ever measure paint. When did the four ounce jars run? So the CMP four ounce jars have been out for a while, but just gonna go ahead and pour this in and see you guys. That's what I was, I'm gonna make a mess here. And you guys, there's a much easier way to do this, but I just always get paint all over me. So the four ounce jars came out um, a while ago for the CMP. And I think I can say it, um, but awesome. We have, I know I can say it because on the Dixie Bell page, they have it one of the graphics that bought ready. But we are going to get four ounce jars in silk as well as, um, so I just have a little line on here, by the way, so I can get that one-to-one -one ratio. We're gonna mix it up in a mason jar. So, the, but the four ounce jars in silk and, which I think is really awesome, the terra clay paint, those are, oh, Dixie Bell, please tell me the release date. I feel like it's today, but I'm not positive about that. I can't remember. I told you guys, my mind is just gone. You know, whatever we just had, I kind of feel like it was like COVID. Um, I feel like I have COVID brain, but I kind of feel like that anyway. <laughs> but, uh, I tested my husband twice 
with the home test and he came back negative both times. So I don't know what we had. I didn't bother to go to the doctor, none of us did. But it definitely went around. So this is Endless Shore and this is just a nice kind of off-white. Um, it reminds me of like an antique white color. So normally, I'm gonna tell you something else I do. Once, I, when I mix paint, I normally mix it all up together till I get the color I like. And I have some, I have an extra attachment on my Ninja. Um, and I throw it in there and mixes up my paint like a professional machine would. So <clears throat> I'm not doing that now, so we're probably gonna be stirring a little while. Let me show you kind of how this is gonna mix up. It should come out to be kind of like a, a nice light, um, kind of bluish color. Kind of a little more of those green undertones come out because that um, kind of antique white color has like a, kind of like a yellow eggshell undertone. So, and you guys, I don't need a lot of paint because I'm just doing the sides and then of course the legs on here. But I just wanna stir this up really well. Uh, and normally when you're mixing your own paint color, I would recommend that you mix enough to make sure enough you have enough to finish your whole piece. Um, I don't always do that, but I do make sure that every coat I do is from the same mix, just to make sure it's exactly the same. All right, so I think I've got this mixed up pretty well. So you can see it did come out a little bit with more of a green look. Um, still has got, I mean, it's still blue, but it, it seems like it has more of those green undertones. It's kind of a very light color here. All right. So this is what we came out with once we mixed it. Um, Oh, have you, Donna? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm super excited for the Terra colors especially um, because, I mean, they just layer up so well. I'm going to go ahead and move you guys back just a little bit. I'm going to drop you straight down because we're going to go ahead and do the stencil on the drawer first. And I did go ahead and tape my drawer off because they have kind of rounded edges and I wanted a nice crisp line there. Let's see here. Yeah, and that's fantastic, I feel like, those four ounce with the clay paint because it goes a really long ways. Plus, I I've seen some beautiful pieces people have done in one color, and I'm not a huge one color person anyway, um, but I just feel like that paint is made to be layered and, you know, blended because of how it reactivates, and it's just gorgeous. So we're gonna go ahead and take out this drawer, and we're gonna drop it down. There we go. I'm gonna move you back a little bit so you can see the whole drawer here. Excuse my mess in the garage. Um, so with stencils, um, I do not, you can use tacky spray um, and that'll help you with like eliminating bleed through and stuff like that. But I don't like the cleanup that I always end up having with that tacky spray. So I like to just tape down my, I should have torn my tape off first. I just like to tape down my stencils. Um, and if you stencil, well, why don't we go this way? That'll give us so much more coverage. 
here. Let's see here. I'm just gonna line this up right quick. Sometimes I'm not so good at doing that if I keep talking. I'm just, my brain's not working on the multitasking. I'm trying to get it perfect so that it's just nice and straight. Take that side down. And we're gonna go ahead, I've got one little spot there. I can tape it. And I'm gonna add some tape over here. So as anybody, you guys, this will be my first time using this stencil. I don't do a lot of modern pieces. Has anybody used this stencil before? So also, I'm just gonna be using a regular stencil brush here. Um, I have quite a big area to cover. So, whew, I don't know where to put this. Um, let's see. Well, I kind of hate putting it on the ground just because of the bending, but let's do this. There we go. All right, so when you're stenciling to avoid getting like that bleed through, um, you know, where you kind of get those blurry edges, you want to use a very, very minimal amount of paint. So I actually had put a little bit paint, more paint on there than I intended to. You pretty much want to wipe the majority of that back. And a lot of times I start out with not enough paint. I generally will wipe too much back. But you can always add more paint. It's really hard to take it away once you start going. So I do hold it down in the area that I'm working with and just start dabbing here. And you see, you saw how very little paint I had on here. Well, it is covering just So now I'm gonna go ahead, this almost comes out looking like a minty green. You know, I watched uh, Kristen the other day and she was using the, did anybody see her live? She was planting like a little plastic piece. And um, actually this kind of reminds me of that minty ice cream color that, um, Dixie Belle had mixed up with the Color Lab uh, for the Terra Clay paint. Um, so, of course, when you look at a digital image, too, it's not always exactly the same. Um, it's not always exactly the same because depending on what device you're looking at the color from, that can affect how the color appears. Um, there's just a lot of different things. So actually, you guys, you know what I want to do? Okay. All right. So, because that was hanging down, it was making it bubble a little bit. That gravity was pulling it down. I wanted it to go straight across because I was too afraid that I was going to end up with a little bit of bleed through um, under my stencil just because of how it was pulling up. So I'm just stabilizing it with this drawer here. And so it's nice and flat. It'll be easier for me to hold down and keep going. And I usually go very slow whenever I stencil, just because, like I said, I like to use a minimal amount of paint. And of course, if this doesn't come out as clean as I want it to, you um, can always just run over it with a sanding pad or a sanding sponge. And... That will usually, I mean, as long as the playthrough isn't too bad, that will usually um, distress it out a little bit. And 
all I'm doing at this point is the paint that I wiped off, I'm just wiping it back on my brush. So this doesn't take a whole lot. So like I said, I am usually a little bit slower with the stencils. It is, and I was a little bit worried about this color. So normally I like to mix up my color before I pick a stain, or in this case, a color wash. And I was a little bit worried that this color might be a little bit too dark for this stain choice, or this color wash choice with the burlap and the driftwood, but actually I'm really loving it. I think it's going to look really nice. I'm also going to probably go over this, and I forgot to say this earlier. In between this, I did protect my drawers with a satin clear coat, and I like to do stuff like that before I stencil because if you're quick enough, you can wipe off um, if you don't like whatever it is you're doing. So I did go ahead, you guys I have my heater on out here and it was really cold but now it's getting really warm. But I always like to protect first because that's going to protect my color wash here. I don't, like if I would have been using stain, I probably wouldn't have done that, but this chalk paint is super porous. And I did for my wash, I actually mix about one part paint to one part water. I actually have a reel of it too that I'll be posting either tonight or um, I may post it in the morning. I probably will post it in the morning. Um, but I mixed and I used it just like I would use the beauty gel stain and put it on with the sponge. Um, and I figured what I would do if it was too light and I didn't like it with this color, which I think I'm gonna love it. But you can also go back once you do the color wash. So my purpose was because whatever filler was used, it doesn't, it, doesn't take stain and um, I mean a lot of like the Dixie mud we have it in black brown and uh, white and when you stain it it's not like I just want to be careful not to hit this other drawer with any paint which I did um, but that's okay because that's the whole point I can wash it off I also have a little too much paint going on on my stencil brush down here I feel like but I'm committed so we're moving on I feel like I was in the middle of saying something to you and forgot what I was saying, which is not a big surprise. <laughs> but this paint is super porous. If I wouldn't have added that protection on, this would sink right into it. And if I had to go back and fix anything, I would have to redo this whole thing. But oh, I know, if I did want it darker, I could stain right over the top of this and then it will take the stain. And I kind of debated on that. I debated on doing like Tobacco Road with All Natural over this color wash, um, which would have been gorgeous. It just gives it more depth when you do something like that. I always love layering. And as of right now, I think I'm only going to do the top two drawers in this stencil, leave the rest of these stained. And even though the silk has a top coat in it, I think I'm gonna protect over that with, um, with satin. And that will give me a really pretty sheen. Um, the silk itself, it doesn't really, it's not, a, it's not exactly flat, but it's also not quite the, the same sheen as satin. Satin is a little bit more shiny, I feel like. I don't know, what do you guys think for those of you who have used it? I'm 
just kind of going over some spots where I had my paint thick on here. I didn't go too close to the edges because I was a little worried about that bleed through. And once we take this off, you guys can see how this worked. If I ended up with any bleed through down here, which I think I might. All right, perfect. So with silk also, you normally, if you're gonna do a second coat, like on a stencil, wanna normally make sure that first coat is all the way dry just because of the way silk dries. It dries from the outside in. So that outer part can appear like it's, um, like it's dry, but if you go back over it, if it's just, it's just gonna pull back. So you guys, I'm gonna bring you in for a close up exactly what happened, where I've used very little paint, it's super clean, and then where I, we're gonna move on to painting this piece as well, so you can kinda get the overall effect, at least on one side. Before we do that, um, before I even bring you in for a close up, I'm gonna see if I'm quick enough, because I told you I got paint on this other drawer, told you I protected it first, so that I could wipe off. And I did get quite a bit of paint up here. Let me show you. See all that paint up there? I'm gonna spray it. And look at that. If I had not protected this first, I would not be able to do this. Granted, I would have been a lot more careful. Um, got one little drop left here. Let me get that off and I'll bring it up and show you guys. This would have sunk right into the CMP had I not protected it first, but look at that. Totally washed it all off. Awesome, that's what makes it worth it. Otherwise I would have had a bigger mess to show up. So close up for this drawer. So if you look, see how clean that is whenever you use very little paint, that stencil brush. Look down here where I use more paint. I did have some bleed through. And by the way, I did not have an excessive amount of paint. If you're somebody who really likes to load up your brush, that is, um, you will definitely have quite a bit of bleed through. Um, oh, thanks, Dixie Bell. Oh, thank you. Well, I can't take all the credit. I did, like I said, I posted, I gave a couple choices. I think about 40 people voted on it. And this color, you guys, if you haven't seen them too, go take a look at the page. The other color is a super pretty olive color. And um, I love it. All right, so I'm going to turn my heater off. Ooh, I am roasting. Um, so you guys, I just want to tell you, I really... Normally, I always use round brushes or oval brushes. I love them. I'm not a huge fan, generally, of the flat brushes, except for the mini. I use it to blend. But I started using the flat medium not that long ago, and it's been years since I've used the flat brush, you guys. I love Dixie Bell brushes anyway, synthetic. But I just got this flat small in, and I just, I couldn't wait to use it. And this is the perfect, let me raise you guys up so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so this is the perfect, um, perfect, perfect place to use a brush like this. Ah, I do have to take out these drawers. But I do want to tell you, so normally, and I don't know if you've heard this before, but normally you want to wash your brushes before you use them the first time um, because that'll generally take care of any like loose bristles or bris bleh, I can't speak, loose bristles or anything like that. Um, I don't really follow that advice. Uh, I know, Donna, me too. They are the most fantastic. And I'm so picky about my brushes. Um, oh, thanks, Donna. So anyway, um, I obviously just took the plastic off this. I just got it in this morning. Um, so I haven't washed it. So I might have a few bristles come out. I just want to tell you that ahead of time. I'll just pick them out. Um, but I love 
The new brushes are like my favorite. Um, <laughs> so, you guys, I don't use a lot of paint. Um, most of the people that I know who paint use a lot more paint than I do. Kind of trying to be careful up here. Um, so I don't get paint on the top. But you know, if I do, not a big deal because, like I just demonstrated, an accident, <laughs> you can wash it right off. Uh, just to make sure I get under that lip. So you can see the coverage with the silk is phenomenal. Um, I will do two coats anyway just because I'm gonna make sure you guys I'm gonna bring you a little closer so you can see really good I hope so that's what I was going for and you know this if you see me well I know you see my stuff <laughs> Donna but um if you see me this is not normally my style um not huge into MC, um, let's bring it back a little bit. Make sure you can get the full look. There we go. I'm not huge into MC, um, but I I do like it every once in a while. So what I'm doing, you guys, with silk paint, you don't use a Mister Bottle. Um, it's not like CMP. So you don't use your booster bottle, but I do like to, I like how it slides on, so I do like to wet my brush. Um, and after I did that top section, I realized that I was using a dry brush. So you normally want to do like nice long strokes of silk. You don't want to backtrack over a section that's already drying. You don't want that paint to pull back. And you don't want to do, like I said, coats with silk. I mean, not necessarily with the stencil, but just for the integrity of the paint. Even though the coverage is amazing. So I will say I just steady today either. Um, just paint it here so I'm going to wipe that back. I know this doesn't look very good with the drawers in but before we go I will put the drawers back in at least um, I think I should be fine to put them back in even though the paint won't be dry. back in and you can't bring them all the way in. I'm going to do the inside of his legs. I'll get that later. I'm just kind of getting in here. I'm kind of, I should be on the floor instead of bending, but just a little bit, right? want to get it so you can kind of see how the look is going to be. And you guys, this is going to be a super quick piece. So I have um, two other pieces I need to stage Saturday or before Saturday. And I should have them done as well. I'll be posted lots of pieces um, this week or next week, really, this weekend. Um, so if you follow me on Facebook page, if you don't already, you'll be able to at least see how it turns out. And now that like, I mix this up, my silk dries darker than when it's wet. So uh, now that I'm putting the piece, it look less messy, but it's just a really pretty um, bluish. I don't looks on camera look different different for everyone. I really want to 
want to get this pen and then I'll stick it back in so you can see. I want to see too how it looks. And I've got time. So we're doing good on here. Like I'm probably making a lot of comments. Though, so like I said, I'll go back and check this out. Which is unfortunate. I really want to interact. I've been missing everyone. There we go. Yeah, this is really pretty. It's really drying up. A really kind of pretty blue color. I go over this with more of a fine sandpaper. Um, because, like I said, I did not strain silk, so I have a couple chunks here. But over it with that favorite sandpaper, I'll give it a real nice. When I say for something like I like to use like 600 or 400 grams, um, but yeah, it kind of looks mint. It's drying in here. So I'm in the and I have natural photography on, but I also have to turn off overhead lights. So it tends to tint a little more yellow um, overhead light on. So it does look minty, but I think being a person, I think it's going to look more um, dusty version. Like Dixie, not really. Well, yeah, I, don't know. I can see a few different colors in here. I get it all on that second on. Sometimes it's a little bit different, a little bit dark. Now I'm going up light, even though I have the coverage silk. It's um, I'm sure some of it is still coming too. Years ago, I knew what I was asking for whenever I was in the color lab. Um, I'm not going to say years ago when I used a different hand. Um, I used to make up this color that I originally went to the color lab. I kind of see what was really close to that. Kind of got having fun playing the color lab. And I got distracted. And uh, that's how we do this combo. It's a mix similar, similar to Sweetie with um, like a color really similar to, well, Drift was like somewhere between Baja and Baja. And, but then once I with the color, like, ooh, it's totally different things. Color is really light off color, and I'm going to be doing a piece soon. I think I'm cherry transfer. I feel like it would be good with that. But it's sun kiss, and of course, is more. And of this, or that little yellow, I mean, but more cream. So I'm going to put the drawer, you can see, well, pretty much. Out of time. <coughs> right here, and like I have a real, if I just didn't get what I didn't mention, which came from what. This color is chocolate paint, and you've seen or do you? Mineral paint, burlap, driftwood. Um, I did that. It's more like I, I think I'm really of that. But I think I didn't. I actually like I voodoo gel like layer, you know, with a blue sponge and just kind of sponge and layers and then on. Um. Oh, 
which store but we're going to put a couple in and far enough to kind of get this. But what do you guys think? I'm only going to stencil. I'm only going to on the top first and I'm going to leave I think some kind of uh, kind of round or Because that that is just a too wet, and I think I'm get way like top two are also with the red stencil. Ooh, I like this color, you guys pick. Love it. Um, that over there. That'll be kind. This. I think I like it too. That is, um, oh, it'd be pretty hard way. Yeah, I like how kind of it, it, I'm afraid this is too loud. Um, my image of the color that was, up was down a bit darker. I mean, this gives me ocean. Something like in person. Um, the top two, Jackie. Yep. Oh, you were probably just the two, but I, this was a two on the same choice. <laughs> kind of scroll really quick. Oh, but yes, you joined, got this on film. Um, me say that because it's awesome to firm it up on the garage. Yeah, I did garage. Um, I mean, see if I'm anything else. Let's see. Sorry, Don, to ask that. I didn't even. So, the drawer wash, lap, wood, and posted on that in the morning. Because I'll find on my. Oh, let's see. I, th I think I think I got. Um, oh, and you that I don't know why to do that. Really. I get my brain shuts down. Oh, yeah, this isn't. I think I'm gonna go away. Paraclete. Because I multiple but the wealth that very opportunity. Yes, and I see awesome. But and I I for that thing ever. Um I say you guys guys everything but said Double check. I'm you guys watching your great over. Um, but again, watch for don't I read me book. Link is a new Stacy, your local middle or Alabama. Alabama is coming. Again, you guys have a great 
Bye. Hello.